that dot card. I would like you to tell me the total and explain why you know that the total is the total. You might see two different numbers with two different colors. Ready? So I'm only going to show you for a couple seconds. Oh. Seven. Oh. All right, hard one. All eyes on me. Ready? Oh, I know. <gasps> Brian, what's the total? Nine. No. Who else had nine? Oh, lots. That is a total of nine. How did you see nine, Dahaja? Three. Three. You saw three, three red. red and so three red and three green. That's it. Mm. And three more. Oh, so you saw three plus three plus three equals nine. Oh, did anyone see nine a different way, Precious? So you saw it going across three, three, and three, yeah. and you knew it was nine. You're writing the same thing as me. Right here, you're supposed to write your two plus two. Hmm, Wesley, how did you see nine as a total? Because I thought six and one, nine, and the other two, six and two, and nine. You saw six and three. Is that what you said? Gotta say it loud. Six green and three more. What number did you start counting at? Six. Six. Seven. Right. Thank you. Can you write your equation on the board? The hydra, can you write the equation that you said on the board? Callie, how many? How did you see seven, Callie? Can you say it louder for everyone to hear you? Thank you. All right, before we begin our math, please remember <coughs> to try your best and forget the rest. Different friends have different needs. Some need a lot of help, some need a little bit of help, and some friends need no help. But we all work together, okay? Solve math story problems, you are correct. How do we know we are successful at solving first grade math story problems? Malia? How do you know you are successful at solving a math story problem in first grade? You can make pictures. Is that a strategy? You can also do what, Wesley? Yeah, different strategies. Can you give me examples of some? Kelly? You can use words and explain. Thank you, Brian. You can you can you can use them. Can you, can use a ten frame? you can use a 10 frame and figure out your answer. That's a good strategy. What other strategy can you use? A um, math mountain. What other strategies can you use to solve your math story problem? Brian? What other math um, strategy can you use to solve a math story problem? Number line. Miss O's favorite. Keontae? A 10 stick. Oh, I like that one. So, hundred chart? Yes, you can use the hundreds chart. All right, are you ready to do your very best math story problem? Okay, let me show you what you're going to use. All right, what we are going to do today is use whiteboard. If you need it, we're using whiteboard markers and erasers. You will each get. You will each get a story problem. You will have to solve it using any of those strategies you just suggested to me, showing me how you know, and then I'll come up, check it. If it's right, thumbs up, Kelly, and then you can take another one, okay? When you are done practicing on the whiteboard, we're going to get to playtime. I have some more. I'll help you read it if you need help. Okay, but I want to see what strategies you can use to figure out the questions. Okay?
that they and use, put it on our board so we can use it when we do our paper and pencil exit slip to go on to playtime. Uh, Wesley, what's a strategy you like to use? So in order to go to playtime, you are going to have to show me using pictures, number lines, equations, with a pencil, how you solve these. Some of them are total unknown. Some of those are missing number partners. Some of them are comparing how many extra. Okay? We'll just do number one and number two today. For his prize, he was given 17 bags. He was given 17. 